Gender-based violence is the most extreme form of uh, gender inequality. And that's why for Sweden, combating violence against women and fighting gender inequality is a top priority. Evidence shows that the existence of strong women's rights movement is a critical factor both for the legislation ensuring the women's rights but also for the implementation of such legislation. We also know that women's rights movement have lots of experience and deep knowledge of factors relating both to the prevention but also to the support uh, of victims of gender-based violence. That's why Sweden is very proud to support the women's rights movement in Uganda through UN Women. But we also need to look at the prevention of gender-based violence. And that's why we also need to engage boys and men. Uh, women's rights and gender-based violence cannot only be a women's issues. We uh, have to target men. They are both actors of change. We have to look at the norms in our society. But we also have to see the fact that men both can be perpetrators, but men and boys can also be vi uh, victims of violence. And this is why we have to have a more holistic uh, approach to the issue. But I think time now has come to walk the talk. Words are important, but ultimately only action will change things. And it's more urgent than ever to prevent and respond to the horrific crimes that uh, we see against women and girls in Uganda, but also globally around the world. Sweden, we are committed to continue the fight against gender-based violence and to strengthen the rights for women and children. And we hope you will join us. We can all be activists to stop the violence against women and girls. Thank you.